All right, so on this job, we actually did a uh, lawn renovation recently. So there's a bunch of new baby grass all over, right? And it's covered with leaves because the maple dropped like a bomb went off. We're gonna get all that out of here. We have to be gentle with this. We can't put rakes on it or anything. So yeah, there is a point to using a blower, okay? Because um, if we were raking, we would tear up the new baby turf. We had to be gentle, we had to baby it, all right? But we're gonna get all this off. And what we're gonna do, we can't stick the vacuum. We can't stick the vacuum on the turf because it'll pull up that grass. So we're gonna blow it all to the driveway over here. And we're gonna suck it up off the driveway and get it out of here. So it'll look real good. So, oh man, you guys ask about fescue. Do we ever get to do fescue? Do we ever get to stripe? Not often, but this yard we will. <laughs> it looks good. We're gonna blow all this off, get it cleaned up. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. What's going on everybody? Leaf season is in full effect here and I gotta tell you I'm happy like a kid on Christmas. Uh, it's just my time of year. The weather's good. It feels great to be outside. It was really really windy this day so like you know we had a lot of wind blowing back on us so that wasn't so much fun but other than that and uh, fighting wind and stuff like that really I just love leaf season. Uh, you get this gratification every time you do a cleanup, seeing it from going from an ugly mess and just a nasty disaster to being something beautiful when you're done. And especially on yards like this, we got to do a lawn renovation recently, which I do have a video coming up where I'll show you that. Um, we, we took it from being ugly weeds to something beautiful. And now when we're doing the leaf cleanup, you just have this awesome color uh, contrast that we don't get a whole lot here. We don't have a ton of fescue. We've got a lot of Bermuda, but not a lot of fescue. There's some areas of town have it. <laughs> I mean, look at that, how heavy that wind's blowing. So, uh, you know, I wanted to do the renovation a lot sooner on this, this property. She actually had a driveway put in, so I kind of held off until they did the driveway. So it was pretty late in the season, but I think the results came out real good. I've also, um, I was the one that painted this house too. So we painted the house uh, last year and she's got a five-year warranty with us which worked out pretty cool I think that might be why she chose me as her lawn guy you know obviously she had an awesome experience with us but you know on top of that why not keep the lawn guy around he said he'd stay for a five-year warranty on painting it now I know I'm not gonna have to repaint it because I do good work and uh, I can stand beside that you know what I mean if you just put the clients best interest in mind though it's very very easy to sell jobs so I get a lot of questions about how I price um, leaf removal jobs. Well, the answer is I, I price at an hourly rate. And yeah, I get some rejections when I t say the hourly rate versus saying, oh yeah, that cleanup there is gonna be $200 or $300 or whatever it might be. Yeah, I could price a price and I would be dead on and sometimes I would make a lot more money. But I also put a risk at, you know, um, losing money sometimes, especially once they get wet. Right now everything's dry and it's moving easy, but here's the thing. From what I've noticed from doing that and the experience of doing it, you bid a job and then <laughs> not so long after that you get it rain, like say the next day, and then you're cleaning up wet leaves that are matted down and it takes you two or three times as long as what you thought it would take and things don't shred up as much, so maybe you gotta go to the dump twice versus just going once you know what I mean it, there's a lot of factors that go into leaf cleanups and, and estimating it right the other reason I bid by an hourly rate well I can pre-qualify everybody and get them scheduled over the phone I never have to go there and look at the property so it might be something to consider I will say we always had a very lackluster leaf season until I started bidding that way 
and since then you know hey you don't make money on this job well you adjust the man hour rate and then you start making money or you get to a profitable amount and everything's paid and and now leaf season is my favorite time of the year it can still be very hard work but i make very good money during leaf season so i'd be interested in hearing about how you estimate properties in the comments i know it can be quite the art form to actually estimate and estimate very thoroughly if you go and see the properties and and go about it that way um, there's a lot that goes into it so let me know what you look at to consider the price Taking us about 20 minutes to clean up this front yard, suck it up, and haul it away. So if you're a homeowner, what does that mean? Well, I just gave you back all of Saturday. Look at these leaves, they're already dropping like crazy. But, man, this lawn looks good too. It was nothing but weeds before, now it's the best looking lawn on the block. Look, there's only one reason to hire me. You want your, you want your lawn to look good? I'm going to be the guy. You want it taken care of? You want to save time? You want to get rid of the headache? I'm your guy. I'm going to help you out. Okay, do you want to have that lawn? Or do you want to have that lawn? It's really up to you. Anyways, uh, so having said all that, it looks a lot better. It only took us uh, 20 minutes. We're on to the next one. And the box is, we're not getting a really good shred. I mean, I'm, I'm not impressed with that. So, Maybe there's something I can do for the vacuum, but uh, our Cyclone rig last year, DIY rig, really, really, really shred this stuff up. And to me, I mean, they're a little damp, but I mean, maple leaves, man, maple leaves. They're thin, they're easy to shred up. And we're not getting a fine shred. So again, not impressed. Does it work good? I mean, it's a, it's a bigger vac, it's got the name. <laughs> but my DIY rig works better. And if that means that's what I gotta do, Hey, I might, I might just rig up another one. They just keep dropping just as quick as we clean it up. We're gonna get to the next one and start cleaning stuff up. Uh, those leaves aren't shred up very well, but they could be packed down easy. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, yeah. Boy, this renovation came out good. What do you guys think of this? I mean, keep in mind, it's still growing back.